Got another question for the equilibrium playlist. So this one includes an enthalpy profile diagram for an equilibrium, KC expression, and question on Le Chatelier's principle. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So the first thing we've got to appreciate is that this is an exothermic reaction. So the reactants are going to be higher than the products. Next thing we've got to do is connect the two lines, but remember we've got to do it like that. Now we've got a label on the activation energy, EA, so that is an arrow going from the uh, reactants line up to the maximum of that curve. And the other thing we've got to do is label the enthalpy change for the reaction as delta H, so that's going from the reactants down to the products. So moving on to the calculation now, the first thing we've got to do is work out how many moles of ammonia we've got in 5.1 tonnes. And then if we think about the equilibrium itself, it involves four moles of ammonia. So per mole of ammonia, it's going to release 905 divided by 4 kilojoules. So now we know the amount of energy released per mole of ammonia, we can multiply it by 300,000, and that'll tell us how much is going to be released for the 5.1 tonnes which in standard form and to an appropriate three significant figures, 6.79 times 10 to the 7 kilojoules. So moving on to the KC expression, remember it's the equilibrium concentrations of the products divided by the reactants. Any balance in numbers need to become powers. Moving on to part C, we've got to predict the conditions of temperature and pressure for a maximum equilibrium yield of nitrogen monoxide. So in other words, we want the equilibrium to go over to the right-hand side. So we'll start with temperature. You can see it's an exothermic forward reaction, so a low temperature will favour the forward reaction. In terms of pressure, we've got to consider the number of moles of gas on each side of the equilibrium. So we've got 9 moles on the left, 10 moles on the right. So what kind of a pressure will favour the side with the most moles? It's going to be a low pressure. So a low pressure will push the equilibrium over to the right. So moving on to the second bullet point, we're going to start talking about compromise conditions. So the problem with low temperature and low pressure is they both result in a low rate of reaction. So the company is obviously going to have to increase these, but that's going to have some knock-on effects on yield and some other operational factors. So the problem with increasing both the temperature and the pressure is it's going to, or they're both going to favour the reverse reaction and drop the equilibrium yield of the nitrogen monoxide. And the other thing the company would need to bear in mind would be as you increase the temperature you're increasing your energy consumption and increasing the pressure increases safety risks and it also is difficult or expensive to achieve. 